Nobody fix it here. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is Wednesday the 3rd. You can hear the rain out there. Check the TV, what we got going on here. Spirits are in good humor today. So today it might be a good day to go mining. I don't know if I can go mining yet. That might have to be unlocked. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow, though. All right. So I don't have to water any of my crops. Um... What can I do, though? I don't... Oh, God, I don't want to do fishing. Alright, so today's going to be the day I'm going to start editing. In fact, I'm going to head into yeah. town real quick. Or, how much money do I have? 247? Um... It would be nice to have something to sell in order to buy more crops. Closed Wednesdays. Of course it is. I forgot about that. So Piers is closed on Wednesdays. Alright, so... What can I do then? I could gift this to George. I don't think we've met George yet. Let's go meet George. Just walk right in his house. Um, this is Alex. I think that's her grandkid? Well, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Thank you. There's Evelyn over there, the old lady. Here's George. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way, now buzz off. Yeah, he's a cranky guy in a wheelchair. Okay. Um, maybe that's something I can do, is go around introducing myself to people and get that achievement first. Pam is here. I don't think we've met Pam, right? Times have been, or have we? Times have been tough lately. I got laid off of my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could drive you to Calico Desert. That's the bus that we have near our place. And I don't think we've met these guys. There's the kid, Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Come on, get out of the way. I need to go up there. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. You just let me walk into your house with your kids down here. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Alright. Alright, who else do I need? I think if I head this way, we'll be able to meet Marnie. Oh, it's already 11.30 a.m. Oh, and the kid. Hi! That's Jazz. Alright, I guess that's all she says. Hi, Fixer. You look like you're soaked, you poor thing. Did I meet Marnie yet? I don't remember. 21 out of 28 people. Okay. Um, that's Leah's house. I've already met... Oh, the wizard. We can go meet the wizard. Alright, let's go do that. You can hear someone inside, though. Alright, well, apparently I can't meet him quite yet. Well, what the hell? The saloon is open. I'm going here. Where's Gus? Let's go talk to Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop t uh, Saloon. Hi there, Fixer. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you, Gus. And we are at what? Oops. 22 people. Did I talk to Evelyn? Uh, why, hello and welcome to our little community there. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Alright, so apparently I didn't talk to Evelyn the first time around. Okay. One more down. Look, Emily! I don't think I met Emily yet, have I? Oh, I can't... Read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town if you're ever looking for something to do in the evening. Stop by the saloon. That's where I work. That get me my... 24. Alright. What is this getting started? Oh, I have to harvest the parsnip. Right. Alright. And I talked to Leah, right? This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. Good to know. There should be another dude in here. That's Sam. I already talked to him. Should be... That's who I'm looking for, Shane. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Did I, did I meet him already? 
So I have three people left. All right, well, it's 6.30 p.m. I'm going to head back. And I think we're going to chop some wood. All right, guys, it's late. We're looking after 12. I'm fully exhausted. I could have sworn that you passed out at zero exhaustion, but apparently I was wrong. I don't know if you keep on going after that when you do pass out, or even if you do pass out. I thought you did, but I did not. All right, sleep for the night. Level up, level one foraging. So after you forage so many items and you chop down a few trees, you level up your foraging. And every time you level up, you get a little bit of a bonus. And then I think at level five, you actually have a path that you can choose to go down. They give you two different paths. One of them gets you bonuses or buffs for doing one thing. And the other one is buffs for a different thing. And you can't go back on it as far as I can tell. It's a permanent buff. Um, and, and I don't know if I'll reach any of those by the time I end this series, but for now, we're worried about level X proficiency is, uh, plus one. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds. This produces those, um, foraging plants like the leeks and, and whatnot. And the new crafting recipe, a field snack. That's what I sold in my little bin overnight. 212 gold. Wonderful. I don't know whose rooster that is because it's not mine. All right, let's take um, a look real quick. There you go. Foraging shows one. Then at five, this is where you, you branch off. And then again, there's another branch at the very end here. Fantastic. Crafting recipe so I can now make field snacks. Cost me an acorn, a maple seed, and a pine cone, and you see it gives me 45 energy and 18 health. So this is your energy right here. If you eat one of these snacks, you can prolong the stuff that you can do in a day. And then wild seeds, it takes one of each of the foraging items. So wild horseradish, daffodil, leek, and dandelion. All right, it's time to do our do's for the day, which includes, well, first of all, let's plant these wild seeds that I got here. Those will come in handy, and now we get to water everything. This is one of the least fun parts of the game, but like I said before, it does get automated in a way in, in the future. And that is nice. And these are our beans. There we go. Work is done for the day. All right, we're going to head in town. We got $459, so I'm going to buy me some more seeds. So we have more stuff to plant, more money to make. As far as my introductions go, I don't think I can do anything with that right now. What I can do... Um, that's going to be a pain in the butt. I'm going to avoid that. All right, I'm going to head into town after I clear out a little bit because the store is not open yet. So let's clear some of this out. So when you are digging up rock with a pick, whether it be stone scattered down your property over there or in the mines, sometimes you'll dig up a geode and you take him to the blacksmith and he'll crack them open for you for a price. Process geodes. Just place your geodes on my anvil and I'll give them a whack. 25 gold per geo. And I got three of them. Let's see what we got. Okay, cool. That's something I can take to the museum. I got some stone, which is useless, and we got another museum item. All right, so let's hover over those. This is limestone, and this is orpiment. You take these to the museum, and, well, let's take a look. Museum is down here. Gunther is in here. We got a cutscene. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. 
I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it's yours. Eh, yeah, thanks for guilting me, typical museum. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I'll do that. So those items that I found, where it says, you know, take this to Gunther, you do that, and he will compensate you. So Gunther can tell you more about this. If you donate it to the museum, you take it, and then you just place it somewhere. I don't think it really matters where. Journal updated. Let's put this one here, I suppose. Archaeology! Reward $250. All right, and so I don't I don't know what I don't know exactly how it works, but after so many that you donate, he does compensate you with more than just money. He gives you Im important, valuable things like certain seeds and whatnot. So that that will come in handy. I don't know, like you said, if it's every five or every ten, something like that. I don't know, but these are important. Um, these are the books. This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. These books that you find that I dug up in the previous episode, they do come with like little hints on how to play the game and stuff like that. So if you're new, they're handy. If you've already played the game once, they're, they're not handy at all. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Happy animals produce a higher quality products. And that is true. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve the quality, reduce workload, and or hasten crop growth. Um, there are three different fertilizers. One does increase the quality. Reduce workload means that they retain water better. That means you don't have to water them every single day. And hasten crop growth is just that there is something that accelerates the crop. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area direct. They require no maintenance. I don't know why it says very little. But I guess no, it is very little. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or, or else it may not grow properly. I guess that's the maintenance they're talking about. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons like corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. So there you go. Those books are kind of like the tutorials. Uh, they're the hints. Let's go search through his trash. Nothing. All right, I want to go up to Pierre's and get some seeds after I look at the blacksmith's trash. Nothing. All right, there's Pam going to work at the Joja Mart. I don't know who else I haven't met besides the wizard. Who else? Who am I missing? I met Emily. I met Haley. I'm not sure who I have not met yet besides the wizard. Alright, let's take a look to see if there are any birthdays coming up. Alright, it's Lewis's. What is Lewis like? Hold on, I got the wiki open right over here. Lewis has... he likes lots of things that I do not have access to. Alright, so that's going to be a little difficult. I can give him something kind of crappy though and he'll be fine. Um, what do we got here? I'm running low on catfish. If someone could help uh, bring me one, it would be much appreciated. 600 gold? That's a lot for early in the game. The problem is, is I can't catch fish for crap. Alright. I met you people. Alright, what do I not have yet? Parsnip should be popping up, I think, tomorrow, right? Anything else in here that I need? Okay, um, potatoes, I guess I can grab a couple of those. We'll grab a couple tulips, too. Um, how long? Six days? Alright. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get five potatoes. And, did I already do kale? I think I grabbed some kale. And maybe a couple of jazz. I think that means I have all the, the seeds, right? Four days. Parsnip might be the best in order to make money. It is the cheapest. Although potato might work well too. Um, 
I get 250. I'm gonna save my cash. Oh! We haven't met Elliot yet. This is the beach bum. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sweet. 26 out of 28. So the wizard is one, and I really don't know for the life of me who the other one is. Uh, um, Shane, Penny, Alex, George, Evelyn. I met these people. There's spoilers in here, by the way. I won't go down any further, but there are people in here that are no, they're not in the city yet, and they do come at a later time. So maybe I, I won't go there, and if you guys don't want to get spoiled if you start playing this, don't look there. Yeah, those should come up tomorrow. Then we'll make a little cash on them. Ooh, I'm too exhausted. 14. All right. All right, so we do have a problem. It is now... 2.20 p.m. and I'm already exhausted for the day. What can I do? I could show you this up here. We got this random little cave in here and later on in the game th th there is a use for that. But I won't tell you what it is. Alright, this looks like an abandoned building. There will be a use for that later as well. Oh, there I forgot about this. Can I look at it? Oh, good. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Grandpa, more like Gandalf. So we got a little shrine for Grandpa over here. And now you'll see why this is a little bit of a stalker game. Here I am, hiding in the bushes, ready to ambush Clint. Wha-bam! Er, hi, I'm Clint. Hello, Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. You can go on to the saloon now. Lots of people are in here, I think. Eh, a few people. It's Thursday night. I think more people come on Friday. Anyways, I accidentally swung my axe and I killed my exhaustion. So here I am walking back home. Uh, I think Harvey and the wizard are the last two I need to meet and I can't meet them now. So we need to call it a day. Rise and shine, people! It is raining outside. Let's see what's on the telly. Weather report. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow, okay? Fortune teller. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. All right. Although that doesn't really apply. The only thing that is useful at this point for me would be the extra recipes, but that's not on. Oops, I didn't mean to choose that. All right, let's head outside. The good news is I don't have to... Oh, oh you little son of a bitch. So, crows come and eat your crops. Parsnips. So you gotta pull each one of them one by one. You can get scarecrows, by the way, that will prevent the crows from coming and eating your shit. But I'm not at that point yet, apparently. Ooh, I got a gold one. So, items come in varying degrees of quality. Uh, a regular vegetable or fruit won't have any kind of star on it. Then there is a silver, a gold, and a purple. Um, purple you usually don't get until much later in the game, but... um. Right there, I got. They're they're worth more, and they they help make dishes when you go cooking and whatnot. They make them more valuable, I guess, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, um, I got all my parsnips. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, hundred gold, and that triggered two new ones. Right, raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money. She'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or a barn so that you can raise animals. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Let's see if I can make one of those. What? I thought it was saying I could do one. Reach farming level one first. Never mind. All right, let's see what my mail is. To our value, Joja Mark customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. So there you go, I can go mining now. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to Initiative L61091. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja customer support all right um so i got all these parsnips which i can sell 
I'm going to keep a few on me probably to munch on. Actually, you know what? I can make that... That... Nom Nom bar here. Field Snack. I'm going to do that. In fact, it's got the same stats as the Parsnip. Cool. Alright then. Um, we need to go to town and get some seeds. We need to stop by the... The Carpenter to see how much the... Um, coop costs. I could check a wiki, but I'm going to go up there anyways, uh, just to show you guys. Alright, um... Alright, we're going to head into town. Alright, Piers is not open. Now, now, go. Now open, not not. Let's give a... Wait a minute, did we actually talk to Pierre? Oh, it was Pierre, not Harvey. They look the same to me. Alright, Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Fixer, the new farmer and pure owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce for you, from you, for a good price. Alright, how to win friends. Giving gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual tastes and you'll be popular in no time. Give someone a gift. Alright, oops. Let's, um, first off, let's buy some seeds or sell these things. So I can sell a daffodil. So a gold parsnip is worth 52. A regular one is worth 35 so you can see that really adds a lot of value to a parsnip. And um, I don't want to sell all of these, actually. I want to keep a couple to eat. But there we go. $841. Fantastic. We'll buy some beans. Cauliflower worth a lot, but it takes 12 days. I'm going to need money sooner. Potato is 6 days, but they produce a lot. One, two, three, four, five. The parsnip gets me money quicker. I gotta be careful though. I don't want to get too many because I'll be too tired by the time I'm done watering things. I'm gonna go with a few more, probably no parsnip. There we go. Ninety-one bucks. All right, I need to give a gift to somebody. What do I have? Parsnips. All right, Pam likes parsnips. Here she is. Let's give her a parsnip. Hey, hey, now this is really something. So, there are different levels of items that people like. I don't know if I went over this before. There's there's items that people love, which give the best boost to how much they like you. Then there's things that they like, like special individual things. And there's like a universal thing that people like, like... um. Gems are a universal thing that people like, although there are some people that don't like them, oddly enough. There's some things that people absolutely hate, though, as well. Pam, for whatever reason, loves parsnips. So, how to win friends, 100 gold for that. And is that is that all I get from that? Alright. So, what do we need to do now? We need to go to the carpenter, right? And we need to see how much a coop will be. Or a barn. Um, construct farm buildings. So here we go. These are the farm buildings that we have available to us. This is a coop. 4,000 gold. I am far from that right now. 300, 100 stone. These things aren't a problem. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've got 100 stone already. I'm, I'm close to 300 wood. 4,000 gold. That's a little pricey for me. Barn, even more so. You have a well. This provides a place for you to refill your watering can. That way you don't have to walk all the way to that lake. Well, puddle. Silo allows you to cut and feed and, and store grass or feed for feed. This is very handy because um, the when you do get animals, chickens, cows, you need hay. Um, and this lets you kind of store it up. So this is very valuable, but it's five copper bar and I'm kind of far from that right now. A mill allows you to create flour from wheat. This is more later in the game. This is not something I'll probably cover in my first ten episodes. A shed. This just is an empty building that you can put whatever in. Again, late, more late game, well, mid game stuff. A stable allows you to keep and ride a horse. 10 grand, 100 hardwood. This is what you get out of those huge stumps that I have laying about. It produces hardwood. I think each one produces two. Anyway, so that means I'd have to chop 50 of them. There is a perk that you can get later on that gets you more hardwood from like regular trees, I think. Like a lumberjack perk, but we're far from that as well. A slime hutch. Raise up to 20 slimes. And we're back to the coop. 
Uh, again, it's not something I can afford. Um, upgrade house. I can increase the size of your house and add a kitchen. It will cost 10,000 gold, and you'll also need to provide me with 450 pieces of wood. I like how I gotta pay her and provide her with all the supplies. Um, and let's see, shop-wise, we could buy wooden stone. That's a rip-off. You can buy furniture. You can buy um, crafting recipes so you can make stuff yourself. Nothing I really need, though. Most of it is cosmetic. Alright, well... Then... And you hear that broop? I don't know what that is. Through my original playthrough of the game, I never figured out what that little broop was. And if you guys know what it is, don't spoil it. Great! So this is gone. This wall. That means I have access to the mines. Ooh, a person. Or a leak. In this place here, which is not open, right? Adventurer's Guild. Proven adventurers only. Alright. Let's go into the mine. He's got an eye patch. He must be serious. Marlin! Hmm. I love my fro. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. You would think that the Adventurer's Guild, which is like 20 feet away from this mine, has already gone into this mine and adventured through it. You would think, but Marlin apparently is not a very good adventurer. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Nice little reference there. I like how he holds it up and everything. It's cute. You received the rusty sword! Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Um, can I eat this? See my energy bar go up? Bam. Okay, cool. I got the parsnip. Alright, so... We have this here, which is like rubble. I can blow this up with a bomb later on and get access to there. You have an elevator shaft. It doesn't seem to be working. And the way the mines work, and I think it's kind of clever, is it's a very deep mine. Le levels upon levels. And every five levels you go down is kind of like a save. You make it to level five and you unlock the elevator to get you to five. That way, when you come back later... You don't have to start at 1 again. You can start at 5 and try to make your way to 10. And it goes all the way to the bottom like that. And I won't tell you guys how deep it is. But let's just say it's probably deeper than you think. Alright. I got me a sword. I want to put the sword here. Um, I should have left my... You know what? I have way too many items. I gotta make sure I get it back get back in time as well so I can plant these crops. Alright, you know what? I can just eat this parsnip. Well, does it heal? It does heal. I'll wait till I get damaged. Alright, into the mine we go. So mines. This room will be every time I go in the mine, this room will be the same shape every time. However, the rocks will be placed differently. I don't know exactly how it works, but my what I think is you have this room, and I think the ladder down spawns randomly in the room and then it spawns rocks randomly on top sometimes the rocks will cover the ladder sometimes they will not so sometimes you have to break rocks in order to uncover the ladder all right so there are baddies down here and not on this level though so i gotta break these things and you notice i got a health bar now too because i'm in a place where i can get hurt I won't be able to pick up this stone because my inventory sword. There you go. There's a ladder. There's there's a bad guy. Now the oh, I am gonna have to eat these because look at there's copper right there. All right, the fighting system. I'm gonna pause it. The fighting system works a lot like Minecraft. Really, you can spam click. There are times where you don't want to spam click, but generally speaking, you want to spam click. Um, in fact, the whole mining system is very similar to Minecraft, you'll see. Alright, I'm gonna need to eat something to make room. 
Here's copper ore. There you go, copper ore, resource. And this is quartz. Again, I'm gonna need to eat something, unfortunately. So, I can't take any damage. There we go, inventory's full, I can't do anything else. Hopefully I don't find anything else. Ooh, there's a ladder. So the goal would be to make it to level 5 right now. Sometimes regular stones like this will produce a little bit of ore. Sometimes. There's our first slime. We got this. Oh, oh, there's a little crab guy too. These guys take so many hits. You can't hit the crab guy when he's sitting still, but you can when he's walking. I'm pretty sure he produces a crab that you can eat. So that might come in handy. Oh my god, the sword is so awful. Bam. Oh, what is that? A cherry bomb. Oh my god, cherry bombs are nice to have. What do I drop? Oh no, this stinks. I came in here unprepared. Yep, look it. Thank you. I don't need the slime right now. I'll, I'll drop the slime. Copper is worth more. Grab that copper. Thank you. Now these crates will sometimes have things in them as well. Um, wood and stone. Okay. Anything up here? No. Just more rock. Alright, we're gonna go down. I unfortunately gotta leave some things behind. I don't want to, but whatever. This cherry bomb will come in handy, though. Alright. What I'd like to do is I'd like to corner a slime into a wall, and then you can just spam click them to death. And I got a little too close. Alright. Get him pinned back. There we go. I got hit a few, few too many times for that one. Oh, oh, oh my god, there's lots of slimes here. Oh, I gotta be careful. Oh, pinned. There is... Oh, hold on, I want to eat this first slime. There is blocking. There you go. It's just like Minecraft, it's fairly useless. Alright, I'm gonna get this... I'll just toss it in the trash. Yeah, blocking... It, even in later game, I barely even use it. There, spam clicking is pretty much the way to go. There are a few enemies later on where where you got to time your, your attacks a little bit more. But generally speaking, spam clicking gets you where you want to go. I didn't unlock a staircase, did I? No. And I'm getting low on energy, so I might not be able to... If I make it down one more level, then I'll have a, I'll have the mine saved. Bam. There you go. There's the elevator. It's unlocked. Every time I come back now, I can at least start at level 5. I am going to head up, though, because I am out. Well, yeah, I'm out. Leave the mine or do nothing. So taking the ladder up will take you back to the very beginning of the mine. And then I can do this. Bam. Now we have access to the dwarf. Now, the unfortunate thing is, I have no idea what the dwarf does yet. I do know that he speaks some kind of dwarven, and that you have to find dwarven scrolls in order to learn his language. But I have not done that yet. So, generally he's useless. So when you go up to the mine, you'll see that I can start at zero, or I can start at five. And I think that's a pretty nifty uh, system. I like it. All right, there we go. We got all my stuff planted. The uh, rain is, is taking care of that for me, so I don't have to worry about it. I do have a little energy to expend, so I'm going to spend it on clearing this place out, I guess, a little bit. Eventually, we get most of this cleared out. It does take a little bit of, of time, though, because of your crappy tools. Oh. Deeper into the mine. It seems that the mine elevator is still functional. It will allow you to quickly return to any elevator doors you discovered. A deeper expedition might be in order. Reach level 40 in the mines. 
Now, when we check the TV in the morning and it says that we have a little bit of luck on our side, that might be a day to go mining because you'll find more of those copper stones, find more quartz and things like that. Great! Before I go, level one farming! I get a watering can proficiency. I think that just means I can water more things with one fill. I got a um, plus one hoe proficiency, new crafter recipe, a scarecrow, and basic fertilizer. And we got level one mining! Number one, or plus one pickaxe proficiency, new crafting recipe, the cherry bomb. Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.